My name is Victoria Sundqvist. I'm a tattoo artist and painter. I tattoo in a style called New School. It emerged from the graffiti scene in the 90s in New York. As an addition to letters, you started adding characters with bright colors and the expressions. I have always been drawn to the tattoo scene and the body modification scene and always had this thought, what if I could work with this? I thought to myself, challenge accepted. I'm going to be a tattoo artist. The first time I tattooed somebody, it was terrifying. I prepared myself like two weeks in advance and I remember I was super shaky, like sweat pouring down my neck. There's a big difference between creating on skin or canvas. A canvas is flat. You can twist and turn it however you want. A canvas isn't in pain or have to go out for smoke or have to leave early to go and pick up their kids. I do a lot of big projects, sleeves, entire legs, and it's not uncommon to put 50, 60, 70 hours in a project. You're actually putting a permanent mark on somebody's body. In some sense, give my art to them to carry on their body for the rest of their life. It's a huge honor. The creative process varies a bit depending on what inspires me at the moment. But usually I try to set a, a nice atmosphere. Start sketching various forms and see where it takes me. When I do tattoos, it's fairly basic. Pen to sketch it out, to trace it, fine liners. Smaller paintings, pro markers. It's nice in the sense that you can build up saturation in the colors and it's easy to blend them. But when I do my painting, spray paint, acrylics, what happens if I mix the colors like this, throw it like that? I choose colors that speaks to me at the moment. The best way of becoming a tattoo artist is to apprentice. Find a shop that is willing to take you in and learn the basics. And to get an apprenticeship, build your portfolio, grind, work. My main focus is to create motifs and designs that invokes happiness. <laughs>